A CDC panel is warning against flu vaccines that include a particular ingredient, but the guidance has some top doctors baffled. Our Circle of Health reporter Denise DeDore joining us in studio with that and why the panel's members are under scrutiny now. Denise? Well, Mark, the CDC's brand new vaccine advisory committee came out with two new decisions today. One to approve a new RSV shot for infants, which pleasantly surprised many experts watching this closely. But the panel also made a recommendation against flu vaccines containing a preservative called thimerosal which left some doctors scratching their heads. The newly appointed CDC vaccine advisory panel with a new recommendation. Adults and pregnant women should only receive flu shots that do not contain thimerosal. Doctors say for the most part, this is already happening. Thimerosal has largely been removed from all vaccines for over 20 years. The overwhelming majority of childhood vaccines contain no thimerosal in them. Dr. Alok Patel is an ABC News medical contributor and pediatrician at Stanford Children's Health. He says thimerosal is a preservative included in 4% of existing flu vaccines, and it helps prevent contamination in multi-dose vials. It's been thoroughly tested. There are beliefs that thimerosal may be linked to autism, and none of this is true. Thimerosal has been deemed as safe. Dr. Patel says this decision could lead to fewer people getting flu shots. The known risk of influenza is a lot scarier than the theoretical unproven risk of thimerosal. The committee also voted to keep the standard recommendation for everyone over the age of six months to get the flu shot. In another decision, the CDC panel decided in favor of recommending a new RSV monoclonal antibody shot for newborns. Dr. Patel says welcome news for a disease that puts 60 to 80,000 babies in the hospital every year. The makeup of the influential panel changed dramatically in recent weeks after Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy replaced all the members with 80 handpicked, including several who have voiced vaccine skepticism. The chair of the American Academy of Pediatrics described the meeting as a venue to sow distrust in vaccines. The fact is vaccines save lives and they are there for, for very good reasons. Every single vaccine that is in the schedule is there because it is safe, and it prevents suffering and death. The AAP says it'll continue to publish their own evidence-based immunization schedule. Historically, the advisory panel's recommendations set policy and influence which vaccine insurance companies will cover. Around this time, this panel usually decides what to put into the upcoming flu vaccine. We're still waiting to hear word on that as well as recommendations for the fall COVID vaccine. So a lot of things that we still need to hear about and we'll be monitoring this closely.